Man, I never thought I'd make another video on the Cry Launcher ever again. And to be honest, I'm kind of excited. Now it's just everyday life in the inner city. And no more of those special event zombies or anything like that, alright? So yeah, without further ado, let's see what this thing can do against other regular infected. Let's go. So how's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to another Dead Frontier video everybody. So first things first before we get started into the topic at hand, uh, let me give a huge shout out to my friend here Festive R4 2021. He's been a great mod for my Discord server. If you guys are interested in joining, I'll leave it in the description down below. But yeah man, he's the one who lent me the weapon and this video wouldn't have been possible without him. So yeah, thank you Festive, I appreciate you. Now without further ado, let's just get right into it. So yeah guys, today we're doing something different, alright? First things first, it is a boss on Ludran, so I'm pretty sure you guys know how this goes. We go out there, we find a boss, we kill it, we test the weapon and see the final verdict on it, alright? But today we're going to be different, alright? So as you guys know, we have the Cryo Launcher. The Cryo Launcher came out during the winter festi festivities and... Overall, it's a good weapon. I mean, I haven't really been touching this game ever since that video, but uh, I hope they kind of, you know, buffed it a little bit because I wasn't too keen on the three seconds. I feel like six seconds would have been nice, seeing that, you know, it is a $30 million weapon because it's, of, you know, it's first of its kind. Basically, what I mean is it has, uh, you know, an after effect on it. So, yeah, I mean, it freezes the zombies by three seconds, it, you know, slows them down. So, I pretty much gave this like a good eight and a half out of ten, if I remember correctly. I'm not too sure, but. It's good in, you know, if you're kind of like in a clan or you're fighting a zombie with other people because now you can slow down the infected, you know, so if it's a flaming black titan, if it's anything like a double hound and you have a clan full of these things, it'll be easy to take it down because now that zombies or infected or whatever boss's speed is now reduced by 10%, I think. I forgot. I'm sorry. It's been a while. <laughs> but today we're going to be testing it, I guess, in multiplayer because, again, I want to see what it does with other people. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so obviously we have to go in you know multiplayer so man i haven't been in multiplayer for so long that it's just gonna feel awkward <laughs> but right now guys we're going through the event uh we have you know pretty much a lot of spoofs <laughs> so we're running like sonic a little bit here but we're gonna fight some uh bandits i'm gonna see what this thing does against them uh, i'm kind of curious i never really fought bandits with this thing so like i said we're here to test things out see how it does with you know a, gr a group of people and yeah let's just let's just go look at all the people jesus all right all right, so where are the bandits? Where are the bandits? They have to be here somewhere. I got here early. Uh, hopefully, I don't get there and they're all dead because that will be really disappointing. I, I can't believe they did this, though. Like, this, this is so dumb. I, I didn't like that. I like the, you know, the before, you know, where you actually see the whole mini-map. I'm almost out of speed, man. I need, I need some bandits to fight, man. Where are they at? Sir, have you seen some bandits? No? Okay. Yeah, I can't seem to find them. Oh, 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 wait, wait. I see a bunch of people fighting whatever it is. Oh. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea. I think they see them, but I just can't see them. I, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't see them. What is going on? <laughs> oh no! What is happening, man? I, everybody's here, but I don't see anything. I feel like I've been bamboozled. All right. Lock. Yeah. All right. Let me just log out real quick. See if what the heck is going on. Let me see. All right, guys. So we couldn't find any bandits. It's kind of annoying. Oh, God. Multiplayer still humongous mess. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just die and move on to the next bus. All right, let's let's go there right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So my comment everywhere I go is just aggro, aggro, aggro. Uh, we got some rumblers, three left from the south bunker. South bunker. I... From the second bunker, and I'm like I said, we're gonna try to use the crowd launcher with other people, see if it helps them out. I think it will. I want to try it out. And I have a suspicion that these zombies or bosses will be dying in two minutes because you know. Now the question is. Am I in the actual boss fight, or is it because of all this aggro? I'm guessing all the aggro that's coming out, man, from the people. <laughs> the killer. I like his name. Alright, oh, there they are. Sweet. So, let's try out this big guy with a bunch of people fighting the heck out of these rumblers. Now, let's see what it does with a group of... I mean, look at that. It slows them down incredibly amazing. I like that. It slows them down oh, a lot. <laughs> I kind of want to kill that guy in PvP. Oh, we already got one dead. Yeah, I'd imagine that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right come on buddy come on buddy so i mean i'm hitting them but i don't know if they're yeah they're, oh i don't even know what hit me <laughs> holy crap that's a lot of zombies in the middle i just gotta move away from it keep my distance because a lot of rumblers are just blowing up for no apparent reason yeah i've been playing so much red dead redemption 2 lately guys that this is literally what i've been just using in the game shotguns <laughs> so much fun decapitation is all above <laughs> We have two dead so far. Uh, I 
thing should be almost dead. Uh, that one is losing his arms. Okay, here we go. First loot of the day. Oh, okay, mastercrafted. That's good. All right. What else do we got? Oh, another. Whoa, that's a little 40k right there. Uh, yo, get that leaper away from me, please. Ay! I mean, <clears throat> oh, oh man, I thought he was gonna hit me, no lie. <laughs> oh man, I thought I, thought I got stuck in something else. <laughs> oh, we got two more loots? Okay, I like this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm trying to use my Wraith Cannon because people call me cheese for using it. Nah, I, this one was kind of bad. Okay, and let's just get the hell out of here after this. <laughs> yeah, nothing I can use. Dang it. <laughs> All right. I mean, I kind of want to try these. Nah, after you get nothing you can use, it's pretty much over. But, I mean, it is good to use this thing against, you know, an actual, like, group look at that slows them down tremendously i like it like i said if only the speed like reducement was longer but uh yeah enough talking with the same fight let's just get out of here yeah let's go wait why am i running back of course you can keep forgetting that we have the one most overpowered teleporter in the game man right here yeah look at that the leaper express yo i'm right next to you hit me hit me the leaper refuses to hit me it doesn't want to hit me oh i i never seen a leaper so disinterested in me before i feel kind of sad <laughs> All right, guys. This time we got like kind of like a fast little boy here. We got two flaming giant spiders, three right from the south uh, second on bunker. So it's in the white zone. So hopefully we get something nice. Like I said, the reason I'm liking multiplayer is because <laughs> the minute you spawn, the thing is dead. So you're not taking 20 minutes to 10 minutes to kill the boss. Instead, it takes like 10 seconds and you just move on to the next one. So I'm kind of liking multiplayer. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like how the guy is just fighting him with the crossbow. <laughs> oh, never mind. I think he took out his uh, his, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that guy died? Jeez, not, not good. Oh, there he is. There's the other one. Uh, and, the, and the guy got stuck too. <laughs> I mean, thankfully that guy has, a, I think, a limited GAU. I'm pretty sure. A UAG or a Vulcan, whatever it is. But, uh, like a GAU. Oh, they all died. Noobs. <laughs> oh, I could have died there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's another thing I hate, yo. The AFK is in multiplayer. Multiplayer is so toxic when it comes to boss hunting, man. <laughs> that's why I kind of wish that Ammon brought, like, a lobby system he had back in Death Frontier 2D. Or like, just, you just go to your, with your clan and you get bosses. I mean, that was that was actually kind of cool. But I think there was no bosses spawning if you were in the lobby. I can't remember anymore, but yeah, I kind of missed that. <laughs> but I'm liking the cry launcher. Look at that. <laughs> it, it, the thing is, it's, it's strong. It does a 154 damage, which is not terrible. I mean, with the boosts. All right, with the boosts. So with damage boost, it does a heck of a lot of damage. I like that about the cry launcher. It hits hard, even though you're not hitting critical, which is, I, I like. I like. Oh, great. Another guy spawned in, so you know what that means? Another flaming giant spider. Oh, no, another one spawned. Hey, buddy, here you go. Wanna have it? You wanna? You wanna? Here, take it, take it, take it, take it. Here, take it, take it, yeah, take it, take it, take it. You got it, you got it. You, you, you got it, man. You're a boss. Alright, and I'll take this, and I'll be on my way. No! It cancels. Ah. So annoying. Great. I gotta move. Missed! And I'm a trout. Not bad. Alright, I'm getting the heck out of here, man. Oh, look, they killed it. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, guys, and I think this might be my last one. Not too sure, but we have a Black Titan 2 up from the Apple. So, we'll see what we can do against this guy. I'm not too sure what's going to happen, to be honest. Because Black Titans, well, when you have infinite amount of health, you know, with the sink and everything, it tends to get a little crazy. But I'm actually curious to see what this can do against the Black Titan, especially in the group, alright? So, it has to be, yeah. <laughs> I I'd imagine. <laughs> Gosh, darn. Uh, I think this thing is gonna find me by myself because there's no one here. Oh! But do you know the crown launcher does good work against this black titan. I like it. I just still gotta be careful, you know. Uh, seeing that the aggro's always standing behind me, as you can tell, kind of annoying. I know. Dude, nah, he's pretty easy with the crown launcher. I'm not even gonna lie to you. He's almost laughable at this point. <laughs> but I highly doubt this will do much work against the devil hound. <laughs> hey guys, even to the point that you can just walk back and you will not get hit because of how slow he got. So I still don't want to risk it. I'm, I'm noob now because I don't play this game as much as I used to, but. I mean, in terms of 1v1s, if it slows down a Black Titan by this much, maybe I do take back my, you know, it should be at least 6 seconds, you know? It's not bad. It does a good job of slowing them down. Look at that. Guy is barely a threat now. Alright, uh, this guy went AFK too. Dude, does everybody like going AFK when somebody else is fighting them? Like, is that how multiplayer works now? Oh my god, I got hit. Oh, it lagged. Well, I, 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 I didn't switch, but oh, okay, lagged. I'm, I mean, I'm not complaining. Hey, this guy's a Wraith Cannon. Nice. Oh, look at the bows. Look at the arrows. <laughs> All right, so he should be dead soon because there's a bunch of people just blasting this guy. I mean, I don't know where the guy went, though. Oh, there he is. Oh, see, he's almost dead. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to slow him down. Hopefully, this helps a little. See? I mean, and like I said, in the group, Crown Launcher just such a beautiful type of support. I'm not even going to lie. It's like, whatchamacallit, it's like in Killing Floor, you know, those, those, oh, my God. 
those ice grenades, it, it, it helps your team out a lot because it freezes them. It's really good. So they have a chance, they kind of have those few extra seconds where they can actually survive because of you. So seeing this in the actual, like, playground with, like, actual people and you slow them down, I feel like they might be very happy that, you know, they're like, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> yeah, because the cry launcher, you know, but this aggro, though, is really infuriating. Uh-oh, I better keep hitting him. There you go, finally. So let me just loot this and get the heck out of here. Thank you, boss, for covering me. Let's end it right there. Oh, my God. A grinder. Nice. Let's go back to the outpost. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's pretty much it, I think. Uh... Like I said, the cry launcher is pretty fun in the inner city. I'm not even gonna lie to you. With a clan full of these, I mean, it would just honestly destroy out there. I mean, two guys with raids canister three, and then four cry launchers in the background. It's just OP, guys. That that's not that freaking boss will not have a chance against your clan. All right. Now, in terms of damage, it is decent. It does 181 damage per hit with the you know 35% damage boost that I have. 37. I mean, I got a 2% implant damage, whatever. But yeah, it does great work. I, I have to recommend it. Uh, it's not bad. It's really not a bad grenade launcher. It has a 20 round clip, and overall, yeah, it's not bad. Like I said, I want to test it out on actual bosses and not just you know those wire long, those wires or whatever they freaking snowman. <laughs> but yeah, as you can tell, the black titan got held back pretty good. If you're by yourself and you're wanting to be wanting, you have like a ton of grenades and you just want to get rid of them perfect perfect weapon for boss something i'm not gonna lie to you but yeah guys that's all i got for you uh i think yeah it's pretty much covers it uh right now i think it's worth 30 million in the market so yeah it's a little expensive you know for good reasons all right so we're gonna scrap the race cannon <laughs> no i'm playing <laughs> let's just scrap the actual things uh yeah let's see much money we made yeah it was trash uh, we have this though 40k we got the fm trail 24k beautiful beautiful and i think this is like what's yeah your katana is like oh not bad so and overall in this few like hours i mean it's not bad 170k so yeah guys all i got i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy bye <laughs>